What's up YouTube, Clickwood here and I'm bringing you guys a Madden 15 update and today guys, the EA developers actually put out a patch that changed some of the gameplay features within Madden 15 and also within the Madden 15 Ultimate Team game mode. Some things that will change not only just the way that the game looks and functions but also some actual gameplay edits as well. So wanted to give you guys the update on this so that you guys have all of the most updated information and you guys can kind of decide how that might change some of the things that you do in the game. So let's start off by taking a look at the current gen which is the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and we'll see what kind of updates that EA decided to make. Now right off the bat I want to let you guys know that I got all this information from EA themselves so this isn't secondhand information it's not anything that uh, might be in the game and might not be it's not rumors it's actual verified information from EA themselves so just wanted to point that out before we got into it. Now guys, some of the things that I think are most important in these updates, I actually highlighted in red. And I did this because I wanted it to be very easy for everybody to understand the things that were happening in this and really what the most important things were, at least from my perspective. So obviously one of the big things that they did in this update was turning down the accuracy of the lower tiered quarterbacks and it says especially on passes under 10 yards now this one i'm a little bit surprised by and it's the one that caught me off guard because okay i understand that you want there to be a difference in the accuracy of quarterbacks but the thing is is that when you're an nfl quarterback if you can't throw the ball 10 yards effectively that's pathetic i mean like I can throw a ball fairly accurately 10 yards down the field. Now, I'm not going to try and act like I've got the gun or the um, the placement, the timing, all that kind of stuff that an NFL quarterback does, but 10 yards, yeah, I can throw the ball 10 yards fairly effectively. It's not that hard. So I don't know why they decided to turn it down for 10 yards and below. They should have probably turned it down for 10 yards and above, maybe. Um, you know, make the difference kind of bigger there because it's just dumb in my opinion to turn it down for lower but anyway that's like I said that's the one that I kind of disagreed with we'll see how it actually happens in practice but uh kind of sounds weird at a, at a first glance so next thing is uh that I did notice that they added a slim play call option now I don't really know what that means I'm assuming that it means that you're not going to have the giant bulky uh play calling mechanism that you have between plays but I don't really know what that actually entails at this point. I haven't, I haven't been able to uh, actually test it out yet. So maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you like this new slim play calling option. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. I know people have been asking for something like that. So maybe this is kind of what they were looking for. Now, the other thing that I liked that they did here was that they added a an extra five seconds. So it's up to 15 seconds for your defensive play call timer. And it used to just be 10 seconds. So I really do like that because there are times where my opponent will be running basically like a complete run offense, run, 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 run. And then all of a sudden they'll switch to five wide. And I'm like, whoa, hold on one second, you know, or vice versa. And we really want to be able to make sure that we are able to uh, actually make the changes on our own defense and kind of adjust for what we see on the field. So that's something that I think is very, very important. And I definitely like that they decided to uh, include that change. Now, the other thing, they did improve the defensive adaptive AI. Now, I don't exactly know what this means, but I'm assuming that it means that the defense is going to play smarter over time. So if the opposing team just continues to run the same stupid money play over and over and over again hopefully your defenders will start to play it better and start to jump the routes on passes and uh you know start to commit to the run a little bit more and you know that could be a definitely a good thing now i don't know if that's going to leave you exploitable for play actions you know if you're running the same run over and over and over again and then the computer just decides that it's going to start to really pay attention to that run and then you can bomb it over the top on them i'm not exactly sure how that's going to work but the fact that it says improved defensive adaptive AI just makes me kind of assume that it's not really going to affect play action. But I guess we'll have to see how it works in practice. And you guys will have to let me know what you uh, find as far as that goes. Another thing, they added logic to prevent multiple ways of grieving during online games. Thank you. 
EA, thank you, thank you for making these types of improvements. Now, I don't know if this is going to change anything as far as like, you know, the disconnect glitches that people do, but, um, you know, there's all kinds of different stupid BS things that people do that's just super annoying. Uh, I know, like, for example, last year, one of the things that people would constantly do whenever I was playing them was that they would actually go in and change uh, their, well, they'll, they'll press pause, basically, uh, and make it look like they're like changing their depth chart or, you know, making some sort of adjustment but in reality what they were doing is just making it go through the i don't remember if it was a 30 or a 60 second timer but you know you got five pauses per game so i'm sitting there for like five six minutes at a time just like do -do 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 trying to actually get through the game in a game that i'm blowing out my opponent because they just want to be an asshole and you know take up my time and uh, hopefully they make those type of improvements uh, to make it so that people can't just be annoying and do crap like that in the game. But, you know, it, it's, I, I guess I don't know exactly what improvement they made, but uh, just based off the fact that they're actually making improvements, I definitely like to see that because I am so sick of people being welchers and, and uh, grievers and, you know, all those different types of things in the community. It's just, it's kind of just a cesspool of crap people at this point. So it's nice to see that they're deciding to actually go in and try and prevent some of those things that really makes the game annoying to play online. Now, another thing that they did specifically for Mutt was that they actually went in and changed an exploit that was currently in there that I was actually unaware of, where you could put your wide receivers at the tight end position. Now, I don't know if this is similar to the kind of glitch that they had last year where you could actually uh, take out your quarterbacks and only have one of them on your depth chart so that your quarterback would never get injured. You know, I don't know if it was that kind of a, a glitch or what, but um, this one definitely something that needed to be changed because I can't even imagine trying to defend like a wide receiver Demarius Thomas going over over the middle or something like that um, that would just be out of control so definitely nice to see that they made that update to the game and uh, hopefully that'll reduce some of the potential cheese that was happening online other things that they added um, some stupid stuff that like you know we probably won't even notice um, you know adding a button prompt for defensive play caller to inform that that inform them that they can pick out their or uh, go back out to pick their play before the offense does you know all different weird things like that um, line shifting functionality out of the defensive camera like you know things that are kind of weird like that then they also did make some improvements to the actual visual aesthetics of things they did change the uh, uh, quarterback signature passing styles I guess there were some problems with that it wasn't registering correctly so like you know like a Peyton Manning or something like that might have somebody else's passing style um, I don't really know if that's a big difference or anything but uh, it's nice to see that they're at least making the update to make that correct and then they also did change some of the uniforms and um, hopefully they changed some things like uh, I know there's some weird stuff like coaches having like their hats on their head go through their head and things like that so hopefully they made some minor improvements to stuff like that that we'll maybe not even notice but uh it does look stupid when they're on the field or on the sidelines and they've got their uh you know like their t-shirt or something is going through their back I, I really hope that they make those improvements too. But uh, overall, definitely nice to see all these improvements. And let's go on and take a look quickly at the uh, previous gen updates that were made. And a lot of them are very, very similar. You will notice right away, of course, that the list is shorter, and that's not all that surprising considering EA is definitely focused on the new gen of systems, but uh, they still did make some updates to the old ones, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. A lot of similar things, like I said, uh, highlighted in red here. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice that they didn't change was that they didn't add that slim play calling option. And I don't know because I don't have an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 anymore. I don't know if that's because that was already in the game or they just decided not to add it. But, uh, you know, that's definitely a difference between these two patches. Uh, the other thing, too. I wanted to point this out because this was something that was a huge pet peeve of mine that I didn't really speak about before, but it's definitely something that I'm very, very happy that they did. They'd removed the the thing that stopped you from clicking through the halftime show because there were so many times where I'm like playing a solo challenge or something and I'm like, okay, I understand. I grinded out the first half. All I did was run the ball the entire time. I just want to get through the stupid solo challenge. I don't want to sit there for two minutes and watch highlights at halftime. Let me click through it so that I can get to the second half, please. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I love the fact that there is a halftime show, but sometimes I just want to skip through it. So I'm very happy that they added that both for the current gen and the previous gen. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Like I said, wanted to make sure that you guys had all the updates here with the patch updates for Madden 15 and Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something, if you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions or anything, make sure you press that like button and leave a comment below, and I'll try and answer those for you. And again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that you press the subscribe button so that you guys get an update when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.